The death of a loved one is a very disorienting time and isn't something many people think about until it's actually happening to them. Judaism offers structured periods of mourning that help provide some support in the grieving process. Jewish tradition is to bury the dead as soon as possible. The period from the time of death until the funeral is called Aninut. After hearing about a death, immediate family members may tear a piece of their clothing. This ripping is called Kriya. You're tearing a hole in the fabric of your normal life. Many do Kriya at the funeral. During Aninut, many people don't know what to say or do. Sometimes they ask mourners, is there anything I can do? They get the automatic response, no, I've got it under control. If you're a mourner, accept help. It's okay, you have a lot to plan and a lot on your mind. If you're a friend, offer to take care of errands, grocery store runs, walking the dog. It gives you a way to connect with the mourners and help in their grieving process. Meanwhile, traditionally, a Hevra Kadisha, or burial society, takes care of the body. You can find one through a funeral home or synagogue. As swiftly as possible, the funeral happens, sometimes the next day. Afterwards, friends and relatives bring a meal of consolation to the mourners. Unlike normal meals, where you are a gracious host, at this meal, the community takes care of you. Then Shiva begins. Traditionally, it lasts for seven days after the burial and is an intense mourning period spent at home by the immediate family. The first 30 days after the burial comprise another period, called Shloshim, when the family can go outside the house. During the Shloshim, some people won't go to concerts or parties, wear new clothes or shave. And for the children of the deceased, the entire mourning period, called Avelut, lasts for nearly a year, during which mourners recite a prayer called the Mourner's Kaddish daily. At the end of Avelut, there's an unveiling service to place the tombstone at the grave. It's a time to remember again, to close this intense part of the cycle of mourning. But we never forget our loved ones. Four times a year, there is a special Yizkor service in synagogues to remember all those we've lost. And each year, on the anniversary of their passing, we say Kaddish again and light a yachtsite candle in their memory. To learn more, there are four more videos in this series. They discuss caring for the body, the funeral, Shiva, and how to say the mourner's Kaddish.